G'day, it's Nigel here from Sax School. Thank you for joining me again for our beginner saxophone quick start course. This is lesson two for tenor saxophone. In lesson one, we covered loads of stuff. We looked at how to set up your mouthpiece and your reed, how to assemble your saxophone, your neck strap, your posture, and we even played our first sound. In this lesson though, we're gonna dig into how we start notes using our tongue, and we're gonna learn our very first song. Now this lesson is for tenor saxophone. If you're an alto saxophone player, look for the link in the description down below. Go check that one out specifically for your instrument. And if you wanna go revisit part one, the link for that is down below too. Okay, let's get stuck in. So why do we use our tongue when we're playing saxophone? Well, we need to find a way to start notes very, very cleanly, and your tongue is the best way to do that. Very much like when we're talking, we're constantly using our tongue to start the sounds of our words very clearly too. So when we're playing saxophone, our mouthpiece is in our mouth. So our tongue, instead of touching the roof of our mouth or behind our teeth, it actually touches the tip of the reed and it stops it vibrating and that's why we can control when the notes start and stop. Now there's a really important thing about tonguing though, because our tongue does touch the tip of the reed, but at the same time we need to think about what's happening with our air. And I like to think of this a bit like the way a garden hose works. So if you think about your garden hose, your garden tap, you turn the tap on or off to make the water flow. But even if the tap is turned off, the water is still built up behind that tap, the pressure is there waiting to get out as soon as you open the tap. And when we're tonguing, it's exactly the same. Our tongue stops the reed vibrating and it stops the sound, but our air pressure is built up behind. So as soon as we release our tongue, the air can go straight into our saxophone, the reed can start to vibrate and beautiful music can flow from your instrument. Okay, so let's put all that into practice. So we're not gonna make any sound on our saxophone yet. What I'd like you to do is to grab your saxophone, hook your neck strap on, think about where your thumbs go, and then making that V shape we spoke about in lesson one, put the mouthpiece in your mouth, put the tongue against the reed, start building some pressure up. So we're pushing our air out from down here, and then release the tongue and just let the air flow through the saxophone. Have a listen. So could you hear that? Could you hear the air flowing through when I release my tongue? Now for my tongue movement, I'm thinking about the letters T-U. So two, two, two. So let's try that together. Grab your saxophone, pop it in your mouth, and then think about making that movement with your tongue, and we'll see if we can get the same sound. Here we go. Okay, how did that feel? Sometimes it feels a little bit unnatural when we're not used to it, but just persevere, stick with me here, because the more we do this, the easier it will become. The important thing is to remember that you really want to use just the tip of your tongue against the tip of the reed. So let's push things a bit further now and try using more air so that we can actually get a sound coming out of our saxophone. Here we go, same principle, just more air. How does that feel? You really need to push the air out and think about blowing your air from the bottom of your lungs right down here so we're building up lots of pressure as we push the air through our saxophone. Okay, I think it's time to start looking at our first song. Oh, hey, I should just say, this is a great place to start learning, but if you really wanna move things forward in your playing, go check out what we're doing with Sax School, because as a member of Sax School, you'll also get support from tutors, you'll be able to come to live sessions that we do, live stream sessions, plus you can connect with thousands of other learners from all around the world and get access to a huge, collection of courses and lessons that will basically help you with every aspect of learning saxophone and having a lot of fun in the process. As I'm filming, there's a 14 day trial running at the moment, so I'll put a link down below. Go check it out, I think you'll absolutely love it. Let's get back to the lesson. So the very first song we're going to learn together is a song I've written very cleverly titled, Two Two. Any ideas how I came up with that title? Okay, you're gonna have fun with this though, and the nice thing about it is we only need to know a single note, and that's a note you've already learned. That's right, you've already learned a note on the saxophone. And if you remember in the last lesson, that's the sound we made when we had just our thumbs holding the saxophone and no fingers pressed down at all. 
So grab your saxophone now and hold your saxophone like that with our saxophone in our mouth, our left thumb on the back, our right thumb under the hook. So the note you play with no fingers pressed down is the note C sharp and it looks like this on the music. Now there's a couple of other cool things I want to show you about this piece of music. First of all, the whole melody that we play is just one phrase that keeps getting repeated over and over. If you look at the music here, you can see that the music is divided by these lines. They're called bar lines and each segment is called a bar. And within each bar, we've got four beats. Stick with me here. And we are going to use two of those four beat sections or two bars for our pattern. So let me show you how our two bar pattern for this song sounds. It sounds like this. <laughs> Pretty easy, right? Ta 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 ta. Let's try doing that together. What I'd like you to do first of all is just to say that two 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 two. Can you do it along with me? I'll give you one two three four to get ready. Here we go. One two three four. Two two two. Two, 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 two. Awesome. Rightio, let's try playing this piece of music now. So grab your saxophone. Remember, we've just got our thumbs on the back, our left thumb at the top, and our right thumb underneath the hook at the bottom. Make that V shape with your mouth. Think about putting your tongue on the reed to start, building up lots of pressure. And then let's see if we can play through this and get it in time. Here we go. So how about that? You already know how to tongue and you've played your first cool song as well. Awesome. And we got there so quickly, I can't believe it. Have some fun going over this lesson as many times as you need to, to get really comfortable with the process of tonguing. And then when you're ready, I'll catch you on the next lesson where we're gonna learn a whole bunch of new notes on your saxophone. And I've got another fantastic fun song for you to learn as well. I'll catch you on the next lesson.